Hello friends and welcome. I'm Sarah Liz and I'm so excited to be sharing a card in this Trinity Stamps YouTube hop to celebrate their new release. You guys, there's so many cool things in here that are amazing options for craft roulette cards. And today we're gonna make this rocking card for my husband. So this is the spin cycle die set. It's in the new release. It's got some laundry detergent, a ton of laundry, a laundry basket, and a wreck of laundry to put in that basket. Then this is the loads of fun stamp set that goes with it or coordinates with it. It's super cute. So we have loads of appreciation. I love you loads. Your laundry's about to get super cute. To really punch up my sentiment, I'm gonna make the word loads out of this modern embossed alphabet. And it's got this great debossed detail around the edges. And then I wasn't sure if I was gonna use the double line check or abstract scratch background stamp for the background of my card, but I ended up with the abstract scratch. This is absolutely one of my favorites. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's just this sort of cross hatch pattern detail, just a little bit of interest in the background. It's real subtle on this card, but I adore this one in a metallic embossing powder on anything, anything at all. I've been using it a ton if you've been around my channel lately. Um, and so I am just gonna stamp that onto my A2 panel. The bottom didn't stamp perfectly, but I'm not super worried about it. We're gonna put a floor in there. <laughs> so our laundry machine isn't like floating off uh, in the wilderness. So while I assemble our washing machine here, I wanna tell you about the hop and the giveaway. You guys, you can win a $25 gift card to Trinity Stamps. Like, uh, I just love Trinity so much. They make some of my very favorite stamps and dies. So this is a hop and there's a ton of really great designers in it. I will leave a link to the next stop in the hop right at the top of my description box. But then if you open that description box, you'll find a list of all the supplies I've used, details on how to enter the giveaway, and a complete hop list if you want to find particular designers. Seriously, some of my very, very favorite card makers are in this hop. So back to my washing machine, I've added all my buttons and dials, and then I'm just gonna add sort of the cover to the actual washing machine. I am gonna need a piece of cardstock that goes back behind it, but I love that it cuts all the way through. So if you wanted the interior of the washing machine to be a different color, you certainly could. There's a couple of die cuts you can use for the interior. Like there's one that's a sort of the water sloshing around in there. I am just gonna make this a cute little shaker, right? I've got some fun embellishments that I think kind of look like bubbles, so we'll do that. There are a ton of different pieces of laundry in this die set, but there's only a couple um, that have pieces to layer up, right? So I have this little blouse and I added the collar, and then there's a pair of jeans you can put together. But mostly what I'm using are like single pieces, single die cuts for laundry. There are two different options for sort of detergent. Maybe this is supposed to be fabric softener, but I'm gonna call it detergent for my card. And there are little die cuts you can put on the front to add a little design to it. So I laid them on there just to kind of get the lay of things first. And then I started gluing them on once I knew where everything went. I'm adding a little strip of cardstock to the bottom. This is like a textured wood grain cardstock. So it's gonna create like a little wooden floor in my laundry room, way, way fancier than my laundry room. Um, and then I will kind of set my washing machine on there just for placement. And I'm gonna put loads all the way down the right hand side. This is that modern embossed alphabet. The letters are about an inch tall. So it is going to stretch clear from the top to the bottom of the card. I played around until they were exactly where I wanted them. And then I'm gonna take this clear sticky mat and place it in the bottom left hand corner of my card to pick up those letters. Then I will remove the card and add glue onto all of the letters. This way I can put this back down exactly where I had it and I don't have to worry about things shifting or moving. I know some people do this with press and seal. I just find that I am not coordinated enough for something that can bend on its own. <laughs> so I use this clear sticky mat. So then I laid my card base right down into that same corner and I set it aside to dry for a minute. This is a brand new piece of this sticky mat. I just cut it up into small pieces um, and I definitely needed to let the glue dry a little bit or my die cuts just stuck to the mat instead of staying on the card. Next, I'm gonna work on the little shaker element. I have some thin foam sticky strips and I'm gonna put them right around the circle um, of, of my washing machine, right? And I'm gonna hide some little pieces in there. 
If I were making this card at a normal time of day instead of way past my bedtime, I would have put the foam tape all over the back of the washing machine at the same time, but I didn't think about it. <laughs> so you'll see how I fix that. Um, I am adding sparkle spots. These are super thin, slightly transparent, sparkly, glittery somethings, and they're amazing. I love how flat they are. You don't need a ton of foam tape. In fact, I could have added quite a few more in there and didn't really realize it until I kind of had everything assembled, but it's still super cute. So I added foam tape to the top and bottom too, and then some extra cardstock just so that everything's at the same level. Plus, I like being able to use wet glue when I put down an important element like this. It lets me wiggle things a little bit. Like I'm gonna shift this to the right. So it's a little more centered between the loads on the right and the edge of the card on the left. Then you guys, we're almost done. Like there's not that much left on this card. I'm gonna add the little feet to the bottom of the washing machine. I didn't wanna try to add these and pop them up with foam. And I feel like they're kind of recessed when I look at my washing machine anyway. You could also leave them off. Like if you skipped the feet, I don't know that anybody would be like, oh my gosh, it's missing that. I'm gonna add my little detergent bottle all the way to the left. And then one of the laundry pieces is this folded blanket. That's maybe the biggest piece of laundry besides the pair of jeans in the whole set. So I'm gonna get those two kind of situated right on top and then the rest of it goes together really quickly cause I'll just butt the die cuts up against each other and I know exactly where they go. So I'm gonna add little beads of glue right onto my card base and I can just pick these up with my pickup stick. That little wax end does a phenomenal job um, of helping me kind of get everything into place and I'm not trying to fiddle with little pieces that honestly my fingers can't, <laughs> can't manage. So I also wanted to tell you why I'm making this card the way I'm making it. I have a secret. My husband does all of the laundry in our house, right? We have two little boys, it's him and me, and he does all of it. Like if, if there's something crazy going on that weekend, he might ask me to move something from the washer to the dryer. But other than that, I don't touch it. It is magical. Like it's just one last thing for me to have to manage and take care of on the weekends after I've just spent the week working. So he's awesome. And I really wanted to make him a card using this die set because I appreciate it so, so much. So that stamp says, I love you loads. And I just did a little partial stamping. I covered up the word loads with a piece of mint tape or like post-it tape. When I added my ink, removed the tape. And then when I stamped it, like that word, wasn't inked up. Then I just trimmed it out into a little rectangle and I added another mat behind it. I wanted to make it a little bigger, a little more substantial, um, but I wanted it to take up more space because the loads is so big. Then I kind of moved it around in a few places to see what I like best and I'm gonna stick it right up there, kind of top center. I love you. I love you loads. I hope you have enjoyed this card. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to hop along and check out all the other amazing inspiration in this hop. Thank you so much for spending your time with me, and I will see you next time.